This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you, Ian, Tom Jones, Joa, Mitchie, Jesse, all of the pit crew, you are the real star of today's show. Thank you for being here on a beautiful hump day. Uh, it is a gloomy, rainy day here in Southern California. So first things first, let me just warn you, I've already had three, three power outages this morning. And what's really weird, they're like, it goes off just long enough to shut everything down and then it comes back on. But it means potentially there is a chance that we could get shut down. So I'll apologize in advance if that happens. But I'm still in a good mood. I'm still having a good time. It's great to see some rain. Great to see some winter just in time for Thanksgiving. On top of that, what, it's a hump day? We got all sorts of things making today a great day. And for a lot of you out there, hey, Super Chat donation by Tom Jones. $2. Thank you very much, Tom Jones. Much appreciated. Keeping the wheels spinning here at the Sim Pit. So, uh, lots going on here uh, behind the scenes with the holidays coming, everything going on there. I also want to remind you guys, Friday. So, Friday, I'm not expecting a lot of news. Friday, I'm definitely not. My mom's in town, but I, this show goes on, right? Family or not, show goes on. So, Friday morning, we will do a pit stop. Uh, it might be a short version of the pit stop, but I do want one topic. I want your guys' feedback on this one. Not now. I'm giving you two more days to think about it. I have a clear thought, but a discussion with Jochen, uh, one of the owners of CXC Simulation at a recent trade show, he and I had a discussion about if you had a million dollars or $5 million, what it would take. What would you build in sim racing? And this isn't a million dollars, oh, I wouldn't do anything in sim racing. I'm going to go to a, 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 you know, Bora Bora and retire. No, no, no. You have to. This is your job. What would you do? What would you build? It could be hardware. It could be software. It could be concept. I want to know and my mom to be the guest of the show. I don't know if she would go for that, Devin. Uh, I can try. But, uh... Anyway, yeah, what would you do? What would what would your concept uh, be? I have some ideas on what I do, and it's a hybrid of a few different things. Some sim racing, some not sim racing, incorporating other ideas into what we do. But I do have an idea, and I want to share it with you guys, and I'd love to have your feedback on that. Black Friday shopping with Sean Cole. Brian Ostrike, that is a great idea. The only question is whose credit card are we going to buy all the cool stuff with? Um Mine's already maxed out. What can I say? There will be no Black Friday for Sean Cole. Um, so that was, let's see, uh, one other warning. So I just, so I don't forget. Um, and the other is the Sim Pit Skippy series is what it was called last season. We are going to do another season. And I know some people are a little upset, but I think we're going with the F3 car. Some people want to see a full body car, but I'm just having fun. And we're going to just keep it as another short season so that we can move along. But... With the holidays and me leaving town again, we are going to push that back, but we're going to run some Friday night races anyway. So this Friday night, we are going to run Zanvort in the F3 car. And our guys have been doing some practice, and anybody who's part of the patron team, anybody part of the pit crew patron team, you guys know the routine. We'll share the, the, the password. If you are not part of that team, but you want to join us, maybe you've run in the Skippy series, well, because we're not in a league format just yet you're gonna have to join the hosted it will be passworded so i need you if you're not part of the patron pit crew team and you want to race with us friday night you need to email me sean s-h-a-u-n at the simpit.com and i will definitely send you the passwords so you can join us Devin, we've been talking about that all along. Yep, Laguna is what they're running and i encourage all of our guys to go do that i'm going to try to do a laguna race at some point not sure when i can squeeze that in over the next few days but it is my goal to actually run a public f3 race at laguna for week 12 in i racing so i think that's all my notifications i guess with tomorrow being thanksgiving let me just give one more thank you i want to thank you uh, a sincere thank you to all of the patron team i've said it a few times already the patron team patron team i owe you guys a race we're going to do some cool prizes and everything through the holidays for you guys um but this group and what they've done for me behind the scenes is just amazing. And this goes beyond a year at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get all choked up. Um, the patron crew 
has really helped us grow. Uh, and, and there's a financial aspect of that that has allowed us to expand our hardware, get more cameras, better feed, all of that kind of stuff. On top of that, like uh, on Twitch, hey, Twitchers, we are now Simpit Live on Twitch. If you're trying to find us on Twitch, we do the pregame and postgame show on Twitch. Um, uh, we were talking this morning about some of the DIY projects that have come along. That's inspiration from Jesse Conroy, another member of the pit crew. Uh, this group behind the scenes gives me motivation. They give me ideas. Um, they're my friends that I race against. They're my rivalries I race against. They, we joke, we kid, we clown. And you guys have really changed what it's like being a one-man show. I don't feel like a one-man show because of you guys. And and I and, and when I do my introduction talking about the pit crew, I really mean it. So that is a big thank you to everybody out there. Um, yeah, we are no longer Spatial Tim. We are no longer Sean Cole underscore in the pit. We did a name change yesterday, and the official name on Twitch, and this is going to last for a while, is Simpit Live. Pretty simple. Simpit Live. Uh, that's where we're at now. Hi, Twitch. Thank you guys for being here. And one more thing before we move on to the news. Last thing is be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel so that you can get advanced notification when we go live or when we put out a new video. And definitely check us out on Twitch at uh, Simpit Live. Anyway, that's that. Let's get on with the news. What's going on in sim racing today? I already mentioned it, but I'm going to just do it again because this is such a big deal. But Zach Novak being the peak antifreeze e-NASCAR iRacing world champion, uh, honored at Homestead, Miami. And we already showed some of the photographs. We showed him to even do the drive, but I don't know if we saw this one. I really do like this one here, this picture with him with that $43,750 check and his trophy. There's Otto handing him the trophy. Not sure who the two other guys there are. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think they're NASCAR people, but that's Otto of iRacing. Um, some other pictures and things that we have seen. There, he, there he is with Ryan Newman. There you go. Uh, congratulations to Zach Novak once again on winning what is one of uh, the hardest, in my opinion, championships to win. Uh, it's a combination of the competition and the longevity. It's a really, really long season. Uh, there's Ray Alfala. Look at that. Him out there with the, the current champ. So very cool. Mitchell DeJong has been on a winning streak. Uh, closing in or trying to close in on the, the Rallycross Championship. And he won yet again at Daytona. Mitchell DeJong is back when it comes to Rallycross, but it may be too little too late because check it out. Sammy Trogan, Sammy Trogan has got a monster lead, 559 points over Mitchell DeJong. Despite being on a winning streak, he cannot gain that much ground. Anyway, I also saw this picture here and. For any of the, those who think, oh gosh, I get wrecked, there are crashes in every race. Yep, even in the even in the big boy races. So, yeah, can you imagine, Mitchie? 40, 40, let's go look at that again. Can you imagine? $43,750. Mine. <laughs> well, well, Zach's. <laughs> All right, what else? Um... We did talk about Lime Rock. We talked about the new Skippy for iRacing coming out in the next build. So we're only two weeks away from that, really. A little less than that, even. Um, at this point, one other thing that they did announce is the new V8 supercar. So we're looking at the Holden ZV Commodore. And this is going to be available for next season coming out, I believe, in just two weeks in the next build. So modern version of a few different cars in iRacing. Some updates to old ones, which is kind of nice. Um, <laughs> send your PayPal, please. <laughs> um, no, not the sin pit. <laughs> hey, Bucho, how's your project coming along? Bucho is rebuilding a next level motion sim. There's the Skippy. We already talked about that yesterday or Monday, I should say. Um, and we saw the new and old version of Lime Rock and all that kind of stuff. So. Are the V8 supercars only raced in Australia? I, I believe they are, but I don't know how far they are from certain touring car classes that exist elsewhere. I think the naming is more particularly theirs, but somebody could correct me on that. I'm sure somebody knows more about that series than I do. Okay, what else? I think we have some Black Friday stuff. Um, oh, and if you see that delay on my browser... 
that is a result of the power outages I was referring to. And so it reset everything and luckily it saved my page so I was able to bring it back up, but they need to be refreshed. Anyway, so we talked about Black Friday. Black Friday in some cases started already a week ago. Uh, typically Black Friday would be this Friday, but online retailers seem to turn it into like a whole two week thing. Um, in fact, I think, isn't the Steam sale now on? Is Steam sale, is that now active and live? I need to go spend a little bit of money. Did I check my email? When was this, Tim? Oh, I see I did get an email. Oh, I got a couple of emails. All right, we're going to have to do some uh, on-the-fly grabbing of more information. I'll get those. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so a set of course at 35% off right now on Competizione. You can buy that on Steam. That sale ends December 3rd. R Factor, they're doing an autumn sale. Get R Factor 2 for 50% off. They also have big sale on their pack. Sebring, one of the best tracks ever for R, uh, R Factor 2. 33% off GT3 pack, 33% off. Um, Riza content, 50 50 percent off so good deals on r factor 2 for black friday um you can get that through steam as well i believe is their way of selling now what else um why did i have dirt rally oh table mountain that's right table mountain watches over so the next uh, uh rally cross track killarney killarney international raceway south africa now available in dirt rally 2.0 and they have a trailer video that you can watch. GT Sport Update 150. Yes, I saw it on my phone. I pulled it up over there. So I and I see a couple other um, emails as well. So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, anyway, so that is now available for Dirt Rally 2.0 and part of their stage uh, conditions. Blah 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 blah. As that continues to grow. Thank you, Rockjaw. Yeah, Steam is active. Thank you very much. <laughs> Joa. You're a character, Joa. Um, I guess there's controversy. So Formula One game posted this 18 hours ago. Following an investigation by the stewards, we now have our final F1 eSport PC playoff result. Congratulations to our pro draft qualifiers. Anyway, check this out. So here's their result. Fabrizio Donozo, Donazo and Arsen Kardinov are both in. They've qualified in, and everybody else is out <laughs> in their in their images, uh, including a disqualification for Vittorio Costanzo. Um, so anyway, I guess there was a little shenanigans there, we'll call it. We'll just leave it at that. What else? Uh, grid. Grid Season 1 starts December 4th. The Hot Hat Showdown comes to Grid on December 4th, including four new cars, 33 new career events. I, you know, one of the things that, that Billy, if you're still here, that we talk about with, with our games, our Sims, is so you bought the Sim, now what do you do with it? And, you know, we can say what we want about Grid, but when I see this, this, this makes me happy. Four new cars, 33 new career events, and the Paris circuit returns. And then they have the full notes. Whoops, whoops, whoops on all that. I got to applaud Cody's on their updates. I really do. Oh, look at that. That's the, is that the Alancia Delta? Is that what that's called? That's a Mini Cooper. Uh, Lancia Delta. Hey, look at that. I don't, that is a Renault and an Audi. All right. A Renault S1600 and an Audi S1 Quattro concept. Race room, also 50% off. Thank you, Dave Blair. Hey, Raul Ramirez. Welcome to the show. How you doing? Rift is, no, no sale on Rift yet. Um, I think, uh, Dave, didn't Dave post, uh, I think the, 
the the Pimax is having a big uh, sale, if I'm not mistaken. NASCAR Heat, what do I want to say about them? I don't have a lot to say about them. <laughs> Forgive me. Gran Turismo GT Sport Update 1.5 is on its way, bringing five cars, seven GT League grounds, and more, including the release of Lewis Hamilton Time Trial Challenge. Oh, you can take on the big man on campus. Um, so here we, they're going through the new cars. Let's back up just a little bit. The Jaguar Vision, the BMW M3, the... A Mia? I don't know what that is. That looks like a Porsche. The 86 GT Limited. Um, anyway, new cars, uh, GT League rounds, and more, including the GT Challenge, the, the Lewis Hamilton Challenge. Oh, ah, we missed that. That came out yesterday, and we could have played Guess the Cars. Um, I see a silhouette of a Porsche. Anyway, was that terrible? Was that horrible? That was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't even have to ask. How bad was that? All right, Lewis Hamilton Challenge. So we got this, the Lewis Hamilton Time Trial Challenge on the PS4 for GT Sport after update 1.50. Oh, you see the sauber? Boom. There's the big man. He's running a TGT. There he is in their little studio, and here he is throwing down the gauntlet to you. So it'll be a hot lap challenge. Can you beat his lap times? I would love to see your guys' leaderboard shots on this one. I'm always asking. I'm always asking you guys to send in screenshots of your results. Please go beat Lewis Hamilton and send me the screenshot, and I will make you the star of the next show. Um, <laughs> who's a hoe and what have you heard? <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> I missed something. Um, Chase View. All right, what else? I don't know. What, oh, I know who you're talking about. Hate. Uh, WRC Black Friday sale. So 25% off standard and deluxe edition. Excuse me. Excuse me. So again, I the moral of the story is right now, if you wanted to buy anything, pretty much anything you want, if it isn't on sale by Friday, then it's probably not going to be. And if you noticed, most of these sales go beyond Friday by a long shot. So you can't, you don't have to rush out just yet. Because if something you were going to buy isn't, it still could hold out till. Uh, and, the, and then done in the, I think it's even Cyber Monday. So Black Friday and then Cyber Monday. So deals still to come on maybe Oculus Rift. Maybe they're not bowing into this new uh, move everything earlier and earlier they're just holding out for a proper Black Friday or a proper Cyber Monday Wreckfest the Steel and Wheels pack Wreckfest Steel and Wheels pack out today so this is new Vienna, Austria, Helsinki, Finland is where they announced their turn your cars into true beast of steel with this heavy armor pack and then they have a little video showing it as well so it looks like it's all parts all armor that's cool that's pretty cool <laughs> oh yeah look at the pipes awesome all right good for them good for them Black Friday, Black Friday 2020, 2021, 2022. I don't know what they're talking about there. But Fanatic talking about their deals for Black Friday. Uh, talking about the CSL Elite Pro kit for the PS4 at $699. This one here I actually recommended to a friend of mine uh, just the other day asking about pedals. And it was like, you know, I believe, yeah, so they're calling it $389. That's the Club Sport V3 pedals with the performance kit for $300. That is actually a pretty good deal. If you are on a budget and need a good set of pedals on a budget, that is a good deal. I would definitely take advantage of that. They're shifters down to $199.95. Um, NASCAR rims, cheap. Some rims, cheap. So if you want to get it, uh, some of their not-so-popular rims, by the way, I, I will just point out on sale. 
Um, these are all like their non-button classic type wheels. Um, I'm sure there's no Black Friday. Is there a Black Friday on this bad boy? The $699, isn't that what they want for that thing? It was either $650 or $699, I can't remember. A lot of those rims will work on an AccuForce. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Okay, moving right along. Speaking of Black Friday. Ah, Darren, you're even here. Uh, Sim Experience. I mentioned this on Monday's show, but we uh, checked out their Black Friday promotion. Basically, everything they sell, for the most part, at Sim Experience was on sale. Their wheels, the G-Seat, Motion Kit, Sim Vibe, Butt Kickers. So if you're looking for another Black Friday on hardware, there you go. I told you there's a lot of Black Friday going on. Um, also, we I keep we, we the F3 car that we're running in iRacing is a really fun car. Another reason is if you've been running, I encourage you go race your butt off over the next few days at Laguna. If you've been practicing with us, you could be entered into the contest for the SimiCube 2 Pro. All you need to do is get races in. I think it's 10, but you could still, yeah, 10 races. You could do 10 races in the next three days, no problem, and be entered to win a SimiCube. I mean, I know a lot of people have entered, but when you really think about winning a wheel, a SimiCube Pro wheel, and how many entries there possibly are, I mean, even if it's a popular series, how many people have really run 10 races? This is a very small pool of people they're drawing from. So again, you've been practicing. If you've been hanging out with me, you've been practicing the F3 car. Go do 10 races at Laguna, which is a very fun track and you should be well versed at it by now. And it doesn't matter where you finish in this case. It's just getting your 10 in to be entered. That's a huge prize. I would be on it. This is finishing right now. Um, all right, what else? Uh, Verstappen hails. I saw this all over the place, so I wasn't going to cover it except for I literally saw that title at like 20 different websites. Verstappen hails Gran Turismo Nations Cup winner Hazal. Mikhail Hazal, the world champion essentially of Gran Turismo for this year. Uh, Igor Fraga was looking really good. Was Igor Fraga too distracted by his real life racing? I, I'm not sure how much real life Mikhail was doing. Not sure if it was to the, the same level, but um yeah good job by him world champ verstappen grew a beard <laughs> i agree amir i agree i'm really happy we're running that car this season i know a few people wanted to see a gt car but i'm very happy it, it won't be a super long season we'll mix it up anyway uh mclaren shadow getting all psyched for the next big event so one week to go until the mclaren mclaren shadow team in that case, we're talking Bono, Hui, and Enzo Benito back in action at the F1 Esport Grand Final. So the final event is coming up in just over a week. I think we have our countdown. Oh, there we go. Seven days, six hours, 36 minutes away from the grand finale. Looks like it's not going to be Brendan Lay this year. Uh, unfortunately, Brendan, everybody really stepped up their game. This is no joke. $500,000 on the line. It all comes to an end in a week. And talk about big paycheck. Somebody's going to have a very big paycheck. Uh, and Northern Gamer. Is this is that Russian or Canadian? I can't tell. Monster Jam Steel Titans out now on Nintendo Switch. That could be a lot of fun. I'd like to see a wheel-supported PC version of a Monster Truck game. I just remember the original Monster Truck Madness... And I would play King of the Hill online. This is like early, early days of online anything. And I would play that for hours. I love King of the Hill against real people. Anybody who did that, check in with me on that. <laughs> oh, it was, yep. And, and, and then he came back in the manufacturer's copy, like overcame. Yeah, so super fast but risky. You know, the tortoise does the tortoise beat the hare. You know, that's one of the great things about racing. And you could even make a parallel. This is going to sound strange. I can make a parallel between mixed martial arts, MMA fighting, 
and racing. Because you think about the classic fights in, even in boxing, um, you know, it was the, 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 the puncher versus the jabber, you know, um, the, the Sugar Ray Leonard versus Marvin Hagler, anybody who's my age would be like, that was maybe the most iconic bully type type monster like Hagler against somebody who was quick to move and hit you from all over like Sugar Ray Leonard. And, and MMA is the same kind of thing with different disciplines and even different body shapes and fighting styles. Racing's really similar. You get those guys who live on the edge and they are just amazingly fast, a gift that maybe nobody else can match. The only downside is it comes at a risk. It comes, it's, it's, it's playing with a, 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 their margin of error is that much slimmer. And then you got guys who've mastered that level of consistency and they know how to just really, you know, even wear out an opponent by maybe not being super fast, but never even falling off a 10th. And they just keep coming and coming and coming. Anyway, um, I love that concept. And I'm sure that made it really exciting for all the people who are really tuning in. I unfortunately didn't have the time to watch those events nearly as much as I would have liked to have. But um, yeah, it sounds like they had some really good stuff going on for the most part. Uh, Grid Autosport. I mentioned this. This is the holidays. This is why I mentioned this. I think we already talked about Grid Autosport being available for the Android devices. So you could be playing Grid Autosport on your, you know, whatever phone. So with it being the holidays, though, I'm imagining for some of you, you are stuck at the family dinner or at the family whatever, and you are bored out of your mind at times, and you can't go play your PC. You can't go to your game room. Well, maybe Grid Autosport will be your savior during the holidays, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas. But that's why I do mention it today. It just made me think, ah, this might help a few people out, actually. Um, so, hey, Izzy, how you doing? Stuart, we got a hey, rock job and A few people I haven't acknowledged in the show yet today. Thank you for being here. Happy hump day. Happy uh, holiday season if you're in North America. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. A lot of people, my brother's getting off early today. My mom's coming in tonight. A lot of people have a four-day weekend up ahead. So it is a really, it's a great time. Everybody's in a great mood. Today's like a super Friday almost. What else? GT Planet talking about Formula One coming to Real Racing 3. Real Racing 3, this got an entry into World's Fastest Gamer, right? Is it that one? I think it was Real Racing 3. <laughs> anyway, uh, Formula One is now part of that which means formula one coughed up the license to that game and those sure look like legit formula one cars in it they got the real names real liveries it looks like even um so that's something else you can do with real racing three has anybody played that one am i do i kid where i shouldn't has anybody played real racing three i'd like an update let me know if it's something i should play and of course if you ever have a question of me in the chat be sure to type in a few question marks before your question so that I can see it. I know a lot of chat's going on. I try to read as much as I possibly can while doing the show, but if there's something you specifically need me to say definitely or, or see, you definitely want to put in some question marks to identify it. So Xbox One Black Friday deals. Um, would anyone buy a PS4 right now? I mean, or is it just like, are we in a holding pattern? And would you even buy an Xbox One right now? I don't know. But apparently there are some Black Friday deals coming on Xbox One. So, for example, the Xbox One X with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition, $349. It would normally be $500. Bucks. Um, you can get it. Xbox One X with Gears 5 and a $40 Target gift card. No mention on the size of the hard drive on these, by the way. I'm assuming these are the, the base base models. Anyway, it looks like, uh, oh, and you can get Kohl's Cash on this one. You can get, uh, I like Kohl's Cash. Xbox One X with NBA 2K20 and $105 for the Kohl's Cash. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, that's kind of rock jaw. That's kind of all of the new systems are kind of relatively speaking. Yes, I can, Tom Jones. It totally works. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'd buy a new system right now. 
No, Coles with a K, and not Mike, not my. No, it does not get. <laughs> I'm really glad we're clarifying. That is Coles, Coles cash, not Coles cash. That does not give you $105 to buy stuff from me. I don't have that much stuff. Um, Millennial Esports. I just, every time I see their name, I'm like, I warn you guys, these this is the group taking over the world in in motorsport esport millennial esport uh torque esport frankly and windview announced three-way combination so this is all part of millennial esport more combinations um as they are taking over so 2020 just watch out watch out everything's going to be run by this is going to be the taco bell for anybody who know Demolition Man, the movie, this is Taco Bell of the eSport sim racing world, will be Millennial eSport. There's there's my 2020 prediction. Not saying it's good or bad, just so you know. When you're like, who's behind all this? Loadout. I saw this in a few different places as well. Um, and, and sometimes maybe a store I wouldn't mention, I don't because... I just see it and I'm like, ah, I don't know if people, but when I see it in a bunch of different places, it gives it a little more credibility or I think of it as more relevance. But anyway, the loadout has an article. I saw the same article elsewhere as well, but um, Renault Sport Team Vitality's drivers talk the Pro Series favorite uh, with their favorite tracks and the future of esports. So if you want to hear from the Team Renault F1 esport comp competitors, and this is in advance again, the finals are coming up in one week. So a uh, Q&A with them from the loadout. And again, I did see this article uh, almost word for word, by the way, at a couple of different places at this point. Um, Stewart had Racing 3 on his Apple TV through a projector and used the, the iPad as steering wheel. <laughs> it's what got you into simmer. Thank you, Stewart. You know, sometimes I forget that. Sometimes I forget the gateway sims that do get us into here, uh, that turn us into real sim racers. I don't even mean that that's not real, by the way. That even sounded wrong. Um, I, I Somebody had sent me an email recently uh, calling me a sim elitist because I was, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll disclose this. Uh, it was an email based on that NASCAR heat finals that they showed they had all the guys in the play seats. Everybody was holding a steering wheel. And the guy closest to the camera is holding a controller. And I said something like, that's not sim racing or whatever. And 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 I don't even mean whatever like that. But I did make the statement. I'm not denying that. But um, And they thought it was a kind of an elitist opinion. And and they did if you took what I said word for word. But I, I, I really don't. Real Racing 3, I think the only reason I've ever question anything was when it was an entry point into one of the biggest esport competitions that being mclaren shadow not really wanting or needing to to clown it in any way as a sim uh and i feel the same way about a lot of sims gateway sims are ever important super chat thunder motorsports coming through thank you very much buddy thank you for the donation excuse me hiccups uh, to the show just uh Keeping the wheels turning. So let's see here. I want to check my, um, I know I got Tim Chitwood's email um, about Gran Turismo update. So we took care of that one. Uh, let's see. Kenneth sent me a story here about, uh, about a race coming up. So this could be for your entertainment. This is in 85 minutes from now, so we're going to go ahead. This came from Kenneth Jensen. This is the Danish Esport Racing Championship. He says there are 30 super alien drivers fighting it out at Montreal Circuit. Uh, it'll be broadcast with English commentary. So anyway, you'll find this at the Danish Esport Racing Championship Round 2 Top Split at Esport Racing on YouTube. You can check that out. Let's see, I got another email today. I think it was a Black Friday. Scott B. Talking about uh, a Black Friday deal. Here we go. So is this is at Walmart. Oh, I wish I had I wish I had some money burning a hole in my pocket. Man, I would love to get me one of these. I really, really want one of these so bad. Anyway, 1049 for the Samsung 49. I don't know if this is good or bad, but 
Apparently, this is a Black Friday deal. Is this a Black Friday deal or just a deal deal? Um, coming to us from Scott B. And then we also... That was 1099 That seems like normal pricing. Is No, those are like 1400 I can never remember. Um, New Egg Link is not working. Okay. While we're at it, yeah, let's look up Race Room real quick and see what we can find from them. We haven't given Race Room the love it deserves. Yeah, is my internet being a little crappy? My stream health is good. Come on. All right, we'll get back to that in a moment if it comes through. Right now it's being uncool. Oh, there it goes. Um, store and Black Friday. So here we go. Let's bring that on over here. Black Friday race room. Here we go, you guys. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your uh, adding to the show, being part of the pit crew, you guys. Anyway, uh, race room Black Friday sale started uh, yesterday, running through December 3rd. Premium pack, now only $74.99 VRP. Don't know what the exchange rate is that, but ultimately you're looking at up to 51% off. Uh, I mean, 50% off. I mean, here it's showing the starter pack, 91% off. $8 for the starter pack. The pro pack, 84% off. 41 bucks. The premium pack, 92% off. Is that right? 90 per, 92% or is that 92% of the content? I can't. I don't know. $82.49. So definitely a good opportunity or time to uh, get in on Race Room as well. So let's see here. We already talked about Torque Esport. We already talked about Vitality. Ah, Red Bull Gaming Sphere. So if you, you, would like to try out for the eSport team Fordzilla. Tryouts are going on in London. What does it take? Are you a Forza Motorsport 7 or Gran Turismo Sport player who fancies themselves as a racing driver? If so, get along to the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in London between 12 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Wednesday the 11th or Thursday the 12th of December to audition for a place in the Fordzilla UK team. Nah? Nah? So who's in the UK and is an ace of Forza Motorsport 7 or Gran Turismo Sport? There is your golden opportunity. I mean, and it sounds like you get to compete at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere just in being in the tryouts. So, uh, and I'm not sure if there's viewing. I'm sure they're spectating. That's kind of the whole point of that arena. Um, so that could be entertainment. Uh, December 11th and 12th, Forza Motorsport 7, Gran Turismo tryouts for Team Fordzilla in London. Um, yeah, Tom, that does. I don't know if that is a lot or not. I think that came out to 8249. 8249. Um, 70, 7499 VRP equals $82.49. The premium pack, which is that just like everything, or is that 92% of the content? Is that what they're putting there? Let's come back. Eurocentric. The approval rating? <laughs> so the premium pack, all content currently available in race room. 120 plus cars, 35 plus tracks, one single price. So yeah, uh, the premium pack is everything and it's going to cost you $82.49 if you have nothing. There you go. There you go. Uh, what else? We talked about Fordzilla. Philip Hussman wins at the National Light Alliance in Monza. This is one of those indi individual championships. Uh, and championship will have seven title contenders in the final eSport round. So uh, the, the, here is the ranking going into that. Uh, check this out, though. In taking time, Philip Hussman carried 20 kilograms of ballast and still scored pole position ahead of Ricardo Rick, who I guess had a 50 kilogram penalty. So they did a little bit of their own uh, balancing of performance, so to speak. Um, 
Anyway, congratulations to him as he moves closer to yet another eSport competition going on all over the place. Um, those prices depend on what you already own. But they did show seventy four ninety nine as being the cost of... All right, we're going to go back to race room again. Because um, I'm not logged in, so it doesn't know what I own. Um, anyway, oh, look at that. Live tech support on our show from Sim Experience. All right, uh, what else to talk about? ETS2, more road, the Black Sea DLC previews, trains and trams. So as... Euro Truck Simulator continues to get deeper and deeper and deeper. That could be a good... Uh, I, I need a, a holiday sim. I was saying the other day I need a new like roller coaster tycoon or sim city or something because I need to uh, have something to kill some time when family's here and I can't necessarily sim race. Anyway, all right, what else? Rate your rig. This was posted on Reddit by... Go amateur. You realize that when you know when we get to this point of the show, we're, we're to the end. This is the end, guys. This is the end of the show. This is the end of the hump day pre-Thanksgiving. I knew it was going to be a slow week with the holiday being here. So one more shout out to everybody. Thank you for being part of the pit crew. Thank you for being part of this show and making it fun to talk about the news. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you and your families uh, on this holiday season. And even if you don't do Thanksgiving... Uh, Happy holidays, because the rest of us are on a four-day weekend here in North America. <laughs> anyway, so here we are. This is from Go Amateur 22 and this is his rally-inspired rig. Um, I dig it. Is that metal tubing? I mean, that looks like welded metal tubing, and I got to give you kudos for building quite an elaborate. I mean, that doesn't look like PVC. I don't know what else. It's on wheels. It's on a platform. I like it. Nicely done. Good job. Maybe that'll motivate you for something you can do in one of your future designs. And then this one isn't a rig today. This is a WTF. This is just, wow, really? So I saw Phil had posted this on our Discord channel. And then that got sent in with an even more detailed version of the story. So I am not here to verify the authenticity of any of this, but let's just go with it. Um, ben Gellett talks about <laughs> you know, story is our team phantom 71 took part in a 24-hour race posted hosted by at iracing.race it was going good until his stint he was two laps into his stint when his teammates said that somebody was trying to get into his van he couldn't hear anything and chose to ignore them and carried on driving 12 minutes later the power went off so he removed his oculus jumped out of the rig raging opened the van door and was met by 12 police officers. They literally dragged him out of the van, pinned him against the van, and handcuffed him. He was held there for 20 minutes while they searched the van. After they found nothing, they released him. Again, WTF. Van, what, sim race, 24-hour race. So here's, here's him with the officers afterward. But here's the van in question. This blacked-out van is a mobile sim racing platform. This guy has this cool van all blacked out and inside of it, a motion sim. And he was in VR racing in this motion sim inside of the van as the police thought something was going on with the van because it was rocking and rolling and it was suspect. And so when he didn't respond, they got a little more serious. And anyway, uh, well worth the story. This is in iRacing forums. Uh, you can check it out. He got arrested during the 24-hour Le Mans. Very, very fun. What the fun is right. <laughs> Definitely uh, my my interesting story of the day. And poor Ben Gellit. Uh, that is horrible. That is horrible. Ben, if you're a fan of the show, you send me an email. If anyone knows Ben, send him an email. I will happily send you a Simpit sticker to put on your van because uh, that is the funniest most interesting bizarro story i have heard in a long time but that is gonna do it for this show um once again happy holidays to everybody get out there do some sim racing friday night we are going to be running the f3 car at zanvort five o'clock practice six o'clock qualifying six thirteen start time 
uh, F3 at Zanvort. If you are part of the pit crew, you're going to know the password. We're going to be talking about it on our uh, Discord channel or part of our patron team, I should say. And if you have been racing with us and you're not part of that group and you're accustomed to just joining our league, email me, Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at thesimpit.com, and I will get you the password so that you can race with us on Friday night. But that is going to do it for this one. Uh, get out there, eat some turkey, I guess. Um Mm. I will be on the air, hopefully getting in a Laguna over the holidays. So even though we are coming into the holiday uh, season, I do have some plans for uh, the next few days. So before I do end the show, um, tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. I pretty much can't do anything. Friday, there will be a pit stop, but I don't expect much news. So... um, (laughs) <laughs> sticker warning sim racer inside nothing unusual <laughs> yeah exactly do not storm the truck um friday morning i don't expect a lot of news so my topic i had a discussion again i said this in the beginning i'll get a, one more lead in i want your thoughts on friday please help me out help me out with your good thoughts on what we can do maybe we can motivate these sim companies to come up with a great idea since i don't but A buddy of mine proposed the idea that if you had like a million dollars, and he really didn't mean a million dollar cap, but he meant if you had a million dollars, what would you do? What would you build in sim racing? You know, you can't retire on this money. This is like, hey, I want you to develop something in sim racing. You have a million. It could be three million. It could be five. Don't focus on the money as much as what is the concept? What can we build for the future? What could we build hardware, software, combination of the both that doesn't exist today? And, and I do have some thoughts on this for Friday. I'm hoping you guys will because it'll be a really boring show. If I just come out and tell you what my thoughts are, we're going to be done in 15 minutes. If you guys have some input, we can turn it into a great topic. So you have two days to think about it. Million dollars, $10 million, whatever. What would you build in sim racing that will be a game changer? So uh, we'll talk about that on Friday, including talking about the news. Friday night, we'll be racing. Hopefully, I'll get a Laguna race on top of that, continue to do some wheel testing and other things, um, including the DIY project, which, you know what, YouTube, you're going to have to check in on Twitch if you want to find out what I'm talking about. But we are now Simpit Live on Twitch. We will, uh, in the next few days, be getting a few DIY projects going as well. Uh, I think that's everything. I've told you everything. I'm almost caught up on emails. If you sent me an email and I haven't responded, I'm very, very sorry. Definitely feel free to hit me up again, and that'll uh, get me to respond that much quicker. I'm trying to catch up on those things as well. But most of all, happy hump day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the pit crew and making it so much fun to talk about sim racing. Just hang out with my good friends. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track. (laughs) I don't know why that got angry.